Let's talk about how common asymptomatic rotator cuff tears are. By asymptomatic, I mean no symptoms. There's no weakness noted, there's no pain noted, there's no other dysfunction noted by the individual. So this is a Japanese study. What they did is they performed ultrasound imaging studies of both shoulders and every patient that came in. What they actually found with these imaging studies might surprise you. But they examined 664 patients and out of that group, 147 had full thickness tears, which is a tear that goes all the way through the tendon. And of these full thickness tears, only a third of them were symptomatic. So two thirds of the population had full thickness rotator cuff tears with no symptoms whatsoever. They didn't even know they had them. Now the way these tears actually shake out in the data is a little bit interesting as well. None of the tears that they discovered were in people aged from 20 to 40. About 11% of the tears were in people in their 50s, about 15% in their 60s, 27% in their 70s, and 36.6 were in their 80s. So octogenarians and beyond, they ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. You got time to duck? So what does this actually mean for you? Obviously, I don't want you to go out and tear your rotator cuff. I don't want you to do things where you're like, oh, I'm gonna blow this thing out for sure. Don't be reckless. But what it means is that the human body is not just this biomechanical thing. We're not just a living machine. You can tear your rotator cuff and not even know about it. And you can compensate for it. They had no symptoms. So they tore their rotator cuff and they were still able to reach overhead. They were still able to live their lives and do whatever they needed to do. The same thing is true for structures in your knees. The same thing is true for structures in your low back. The same thing is true for structures in your entire Entire musculoskeletal system. Just because you have pain doesn't mean you have an injury, and just because you have an injury doesn't mean you're gonna have pain. The human body, the human nervous system is not that simple. We're not a biological machine, we're something much more than that. The musculoskeletal system is part of the human, it's a major part, it's the physical aspect of the human, but that's not all there is. That's why you have to take into consideration a person's lifestyle, a person's mindset, a person's social life, a person's spiritual life as well. These things are all integrated into how a person is gonna respond to an injury, if they're gonna respond at all, and how they're gonna recover, if they're gonna recover at all and they will. So yeah, cool study. Anyway, if you have any questions about this, drop a comment down below. If you want to talk about rotator cuff injuries, suspect that you might have a rotator cuff injury that you want to have rehabilitated, go to my website, paragonppt.com. Book yourself a free phone call with me and we can discuss your story. We can discuss your injury and uh, maybe there's something I can do to help you out with it. Thanks for watching.